Today is the Feast of All Souls Day, also known as the Commemoration of All the Faithful Departed and the Day of the Dead. Today we remember in prayer the faithful departed, especially those who have touched and moved our lives in such special ways. And you, my friends, our God Minute family, many of you have offered those names and pictures of people in your lives who have passed that we bring to our altar today for our Mass that will be at noon. More on that later. But thank you for joining us today as we lift into prayer our faithful departed. I'm Father Ron, the team. This is the God Minute. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Lord, open my lips. And my mouth shall declare your praise. A hymn from the Abbey Hymnal. O God, creator of us all, from whom we come, to whom we go, you look with pity on our hearts, the weakness of our wills you know. Forgive us all the wrongs we do, and purify each sinful soul. What we have darkened, heal with light. And what we have destroyed, make whole again. By you, O Christ, we are sanctified. Bless all your penance. Give us strength to share the cross on which you died. O God, have mercy. Hear our prayer. With Christ your Son and Spirit blessed, transcendent Trinity, in whom created things all come to rest. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Amen. A reading from John chapter 3, verse 16. God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, so that everyone who sees the Son and believes in him may have eternal life. The Word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. So yesterday we celebrated the Feast of All Saints Day. Father Michael gave a beautiful reflection on that. We remembered on that day all saints and lifted up in gratitude those men and women, children, really over the years, who have struggled and succeeded in living their faith in a way that can be an example for us. Not that they were perfect. They were just so fiercely turned and tethered to Jesus. And so we honor them in the church and call upon their intercession to bless, to help us as we struggle to follow Christ as they did. Well, today we kind of do the same thing on this, the Feast of All Souls. We once again remember and lift up in prayer and gratitude those men and women, those children that have expanded our lives for the better in love and example. Our mothers, grandmothers, our children, our neighbors, our friends. Saints, at least to us. And because Jesus climbed on that cross and suffered what he did, 
those saints in our lives are now closer to Him and their Blessed Mother, a place where sickness and pain have been abolished, where joy and happiness await. As we prayed for them on this earth, now they can pray for us and intercede along with all the saints in the heavens. And my friends, the promise of Christ assures me that I will see them again and hold them and kiss them just as you will with your loved ones and saints. I know that we shall all live together again in that land of eternal joy and endless sunsets. And together, in the words of Jesus, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. And let us pray a prayer I think many of you will remember. Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here, ever this day be at my side to light and guard, to rule and guide. Amen. The Lord be with you. And And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Our All Souls Mass will be available to pray to watch on our app, blog, and YouTube channel starting at 12 noon today, Central Standard Time in the United States. But if you can't do it, then not worry. We'll keep it up there throughout the week so you can pray our All Souls Mass with us whenever you can and pray for our loved ones as they surely are praying for us now. And also, friends, the beautiful mosaic with all the faces that you sent to us of your deceased loved ones, that's available on our app. Uh, welcome screen and blog uh, for you to download or see at any time. So be sure and check that out as well. On this Feast of All Souls, we pray all you holy men and women. Pray for us. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>